and then oh my god what's up you guys i just touched base in fort lauderdale florida i came down to west palm beach where we have krista barker Hi. Owner of Treetop Exotics, she was the person I bought Jack from, the Marmoset. This is her little outdoor enclosure for all her monkeys. It goes all the way back there. You guys custom built all these, right? Yeah. Yourself? Yes, yeah. my husband actually. Last time I was here, we did like a little tour around the place. We fed all the monkeys. It took like two hours and she does that like three times a day. So she puts in a lot of work into caring for her um, primates. And she has other animals too, yeah. which is actually why I'm here today to get a little fennec fox. A little us. fennec fox. So yes. that's inside. I just checked it out. You guys will get to see it too. But we're, right now, we're going to go check out my favorite monkey of all time, which is Lacey, the spider monkey over there. Okay, so this is Lacey, the spider monkey. When I came to pick up Jack last year, I fell in love with Lacey. Unfortunately, I had to take Jack home instead because <laughs> spider monkeys are like $15,000 for the place like Jack. Look at that. She wants a little handshake. Lacey, show your face to the camera over here. <gasps> So cute. Look at that pretty. So cute. She likes back scratches. Oh. <laughs> oh, and she got the <laughs> she little. Has that it's tail. prehensile tail, right? And they hang from it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so a, they can move. It's a full prehensile tail. Look at tail. that. She I call like, it the alien. I feel like it's kind of weird. So it feels like a little like tentacle right around. It is. Around. It really is. Like, <laughs> like uh, prehensile tail. It's on strong. Other so Krista is going to explain the little prehensile tail to us. All right, guys. Monkeys do have a prehensile tail. Not all of them do, but capuchins and spiders. But if you see, the inside of the spider monkey is all skin. There is no fur. And so that makes this tail a full prehensile tail. They can twist their tail much, much tighter than a capuchin can capuchin and a mama no. set. Well, mama sets and tamarins and squirrels, they only use their tail for balance. It's not a prehensile tail at all. <laughs> She's like, give me my tail back. <laughs> she hates it when I wear a mask. She's like, take your mask off when you kiss me. Kiss, 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 kiss. <laughs> you funny girl, you. You're such a funny Aww. girl. You're such a funny girl. She doesn't bite. She has. She's still in that baby stage where she has to put everything in her. Why mouth. are her bites like ten times less bad than <laughs> Jack's? <laughs> this is Oliver, one of the capuchin babies that Krista has very cute he's just holding on to my hand that's his mom mm -hmm. that's Sadie Running Sadie's down there. 15 years old and then his dad is back over there oh he's trying to grab the phone <laughs> Crystal was just explaining to me the kind of the differences between the spider monkeys and the capuchins yeah. in terms of being kept in captivity. Well, there's a huge difference between the capuchins and the spider monkeys, and I guess it depends on who you ask who is the smartest. I find that the capuchins are smarter than the spider monkeys. Capuchins are a little bit more trainable. Yeah. Uh, spider monkeys are very defiant, they are set in their ways. You can kind of steer them in your direction but you can't make them do anything. Capuchins are more flexible that And that's way. probably because they're smarter. They're smarter and so they they're can also learn uh, yeah. better. So this is her oldest marmoset. Monty, yeah. She's like, don't touch my And boyfriend. that's his girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> and she's jealous that Chris is touching him. She's like, don't touch him. And we put three tunnels up. So and they built this whole big they enclosure. They really enjoy it. Yeah. With the bridges for these squirrel monkeys that kind of have a similar temperament to jack i feel like they act like squirrels basically we got it's a little standing up on the board they're going crazy over here a little gang violence uh, what do you call krista it? you just said not I to know. be under the bridge i know right i know i raised this little boy from day one but he Ever likes you so much me? well they all seem to like you a lot yeah. <laughs> What's up? If you guys can see it, but over there, Lacey's in her enclosure and she's just swinging around. There she goes. <laughs> like monkey bars. I love these enclosures you have. They're like yeah. so spacious. Okay, so we just came across her Hyrax. Hyrax. 
Krista just told me they are closely related to elephants. Elephants and manatees. And manatees. Oh, and no. they look nothing, nothing or like it. Nope. size up to nothing like either of them. Something about their feet and they have tusks. Where did the other? Oh, they have tusks? The males have tusks inside their mouth. Oh. That's like one animal I don't think I've ever heard of. <laughs> yeah. Pine tops. Those are cotton tops. Mm -hmm. Tamarins. Tamarins. And then and we marmoset. got. Is this a marmoset? That's a Joffrey marmoset. A Joffrey marmoset. Mm -hmm. I have common marmosets over here. We got. This is basically Jack. Uh -huh. Yeah. Jack is not that big yet. No. So these are the fennec fox parents, right? Your, your baby's parents are in the big cage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Never mind. These are just random fennec boxes then. <laughs> in this little sand cage out here. Got some shade, got some plenty of sand for digging. And you did like a concrete bottom, right? Actually, it's wired. Wired bottom. Uh -huh. Wired so they can dig out. Yeah, because otherwise they could easily dig out of there. Yeah, they will dig out of anything. Especially here in Florida, it's very light sand. And here we have... A little baby marmoset about the size Jack was when I got him. Right? Yeah. And that's its mom. They're gonna be staying together. It's amazing how much that one runs around already and independent. The little you one? Know how independent she is, yeah. She's like playing hide and seek. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we are back inside now. And these are the fennec foxes. Here's one female. And that's two males right here. One of these I'm going home with. Which one? Which one? You? <laughs> he said pick me. I don't know yet. We're gonna decide. She wants to come home. They all, Krista, they all want to come home with me. <laughs> there you go. Look, she has this little incubator of all of these little baby marmosets. Hey cuties. And then, oh my god, it's so this guy used to be that big. You said three days old? Three days old. Oh my god. And we're about to watch Krista feed them a little bit. 4.5 uh, syringe. It's like the smallest syringe that you can, can uh, buy. And you just have to kind of. Is that your little cousin over there? Yeah, they're actually from the same from the same enclosure. And I gotta get your crate. We're gonna go say hi to or bye, I guess, to Lacey one more time. Look, she's ready for her back scratches. Good girl. Have your hand. Lacey, come here. <laughs> she wants the phone. <laughs> Lacey, we're going to try this one more time. No touching the phone with your tail. <laughs> Good girl. Look at the baddie. Look at that belly. <laughs> Krista has taken out the female so that the uh, meal I'm getting can eat one more time before I head out with him. But I think that would be all for today's video. We got quite a lot of exciting content on there. Um, be sure to follow Krista's um, YouTube. I told her that she needs to start posting because she has <laughs> All this stuff going on out there and she could make tons of content literally every day. I'm sure she's busy with like taking care of all of them, but once in a while she might upload something for you guys. So her, is it Treetop Exotics? Treetop Exotics. Treetop Exotics on YouTube. That's also her website and Facebook. And Facebook. Um, and I'll be sure to link it in the video description as well. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll make some more videos with the fox when I get home. But alright, catch you guys in the next one.